All right, so welcome back to him to the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna be one of them nights. Like, give my man an need some time. Mike check, oh Mike check. Break it, break it, one round, two thousand. I can't take it real Two humans. Welcome back to who? Two humans. Two humans, everybody. This is Coach Dan. Here with me, I got Coach Mike. What up? And we're going to leave this thing off. So let's. Oh, go ahead. No, I'm, 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 I'm going to feed off you today. All right. So let's start out with this. All right. I want to know, you know, best players in Hunt County right now. Who? Best player, players in Hunt County. So are you, when we talking about them, a particular class, or we're we talking about just in general. Just in general. Ooh. Just in general. Okay. <laughs> I put you on the spot today. You put me on the spot today. <laughs> if I had to pick the best male overall player. Because I can't, really, I haven't seen Dodge play, you know, so I can't really question, you know, everything he got from what I'm understanding from what you're telling me. The young man can ball. Now I can't tell you about Jalen. I've seen Jalen play. I like his all-around game. He, he can turn the game around real quick. You know, he has a great shot. You know, he can dribble. He can create penetration. I mean, he's a great all-around player. Dodge. Uh, one thing that I really like about Dodge is he's an all-around player. And not to take anything away from uh, Jalen, but like again, he's a He's a very uh, talented individual. But I think for me, the one thing I like about Dodge, he's quick on the step. He has a quick explosive step. Uh, his shot is very quick. You know, he can get that shot off pretty consistent, uh, really, really quick. You know, he, he doesn't need a whole lot of separation to release. Uh, the one thing I do like about him too, he can finish with the left or the right. And he's just as explosive on either side, so it's kind of hard to, to really say if he's right-handed or left-handed. You know, with Jalen, you know that he's right-handed, but he's just as good as left. He favors his right. But with Dodge, it, it all depends on what side of the court you're on is what he's going to use. You know, he's going to break it down to the science of the last uh, second. So uh, he's exciting to watch. Uh, and they both are still in the playoffs, so. Uh, we got a lot of basketball to see this week. With all the questions that's being asked, Coach, you tell me, who has the most of these fans around here? Talking about, you know, pack stands, you know, student sections, you know, who's doing it big since all the playoff games you've been to? Okay, so who brings the biggest crowd? Yeah. Who got the most support? Mm-hmm. When it comes to basketball. Yes, sir. Man, I'm going to have to give it to Sub Springs. Sub Springs do something. They, they change the whole atmosphere in the gym. Uh, it's if you've never been to a Silver Springs game in Silver Springs, you're missing out. I gotta give it to Silver Springs, but who falls at number one, number two? I don't know, Coach. I, I really don't. Now, just from what I've seen, it looks like Roy City be having a pretty big crowd out there. It looks like they got. A, you know what I like the most is I like the student section. The student section for me, it does it for me because those kids, well, they be excited, everything. I love that. Yeah, you know, I like, uh, I like Royal City student section. You know, they be lit from time to time. A crunk or whatever they throw, whatever they're saying today. Do you know what they call it these days? Is it crunk? Is I don't know. Lit? Is it, what is it? I'm going to say, I'm going to have to say crunk. At least that's what it was when I was in school. That was a long time ago, Dan. You know what I'm saying? A long, long that was time. Ten years ago. Okay, long time ago. There's been a lot of things taking place the past week. And it's just, uh, we're leading into the second round for the boys and leading into the third round for the girls. A lot of basketball still yet to be played. What are your thoughts? Man, you know, this is it's so much. Uh, I wanted to elaborate a little bit on the uh, on the cattle, uh, the foxes. You know, for them not to have a true big man, you know, I think what they did, making a run, getting them to play, doing what they're doing, I think it's, it's amazing. 
you know, a lot, you know, nowadays people say, you know, if you don't have a big man, you know, it's going to be hard to compete. But, you know, those kids show that you, if you got the heart, you know, you can do whatever you want to do. And I just want to let them know if they have a heck of a season, you know, don't keep your head down, you know, look forward to next season, you know, let them know that you can make that run. Yeah, I, I will put, Coach. I think uh, the most important thing we can tell them is, one, is we're extremely proud. I mean, to make it in postseason and this level of basketball, you know, people question, you know, basketball now between then and 10 years ago, even 20 years ago. Uh, the fact of the matter is, basketball has evolved. Um, I'm not going to say that it wasn't competitive when I played, wasn't competitive when you played, because, you know, obviously those are two different areas. But I will say that basketball in the direction that it's moving is very competitive on all, on all levels. So the one thing for me, I'm very extremely proud that this kid was able to compete at a high level and overcome adversity. Um, the most important thing is, you know, it starts today. You know, so tough loss. I could have a pick to win this year next year. Because they, they got, like I said, you look at their personnel, you look at the pick people on the roster, they're losing a, a couple players. But they're a young team. I mean, they're starting a lineup, I think they got four out of uh, five that are either freshmen or sophomore. So we're talking about what they're going to be bringing back from experience wise, what they're gaining from wisdom. Uh, they're going to be a, a team to compete. Our freshmen and sophomores. You, uh, well, most of them, you know, that's how Celeste was a few years ago. They was all, they was a young team, young freshmen, sophomores. You know, now look at them, you know, and making runs. So it's interesting you brought so, uh, Celeste up. So we talk about Celeste and the basketball that they're playing and the energy they're playing. It looked like they literally walked through the first round like it was pretty much a warm game. So. Obviously, that's a seasoned team. We watched them lose uh, in McKinney last year in the, what, the semi, the, what, the regional quarterfinal, yeah. right? We watched them lose, what, a game away from state. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think that, the, how that felt? And do, do you see them going that deep this year? Or do you see them going all the way? Or do you, I mean, what do you see? You know, it's, it's hard, you know, you look at that first game and you say, you know, they was very fluent, you know, getting up and down the court. I mean, the, the press looked amazing, you know. But that team, they play solid. It's hard to be in a team like that, you know. They all know each other. They play together for so long, you know, and I believe they can make a long run at it. One thing that I really like is how well coached they are. You know, they, they're fundamentally sound. You can tell they spend a lot of time in the gym. You know, you can always tell when a team spends a lot of time in the gym. Um, you know, you talk about like all the basketball towns like P Street, Crown, uh, Martin Mills, Dodge City. Anytime you see somebody from one of those towns uh, playing basketball, they play a little differently. When you talk about the way the ball bounces and uh, the little mistakes that they don't make, you know, that separates them from good to great. So, like Monday night, and um, there were some things that took place that I was really impressed with. I'm just anxious to see what happens when they actually get t chastised, you know. Which we probably gonna see that Friday. Okay, I gotta give a shout out to a young baller from the Threat family, AKA my other daughter. <laughs> have you seen the video? I have not, sir. You ain't seen, seen the fire she's putting out? Uh-uh. She's my biggest competition when we talk about media game right now. She's killing the game. We compete against each other and nobody else. Well, Shout out to Gracie Ellington. Sound like we need to put her on the show is what we need to do. You know what? I think I know somebody that knows somebody that can get her on. Well, well, I, I, have you seen Gracie Ellington's video? I have not. I'm waiting for you to show me. Okay, let's pull this video off. Now this is her intro. Okay. <laughs> you know this was the ride. And that was filmed some time back. Uh, after this thing has changed since then. But look at her. This young ball right here is going to play. So tall for her You know what? And that's the one thing that they've been trying to do. Because she's always been taller, she's always been taller than most players. You know, that's what they do what most coaches do. They move the taller player down low. Uh, so this year, at the beginning of the end of last year, they really started moving the ball around in that area. 
but she's been training with me for quite some time. She's been actually dribbling just as good as ever with those two balls. We call them Twin Towers. We're excited to see what they're going to look like uh, once they get into middle school. You know, they've been playing up for the last two years. Uh, very excited. But that's not the video I wanted you to see. I, I got I got to show you something. I recently shared it on my Facebook. Before that, my, my daughter, which is her best friend, uh, shout out to Emerald. Woo woo. Woo woo. Okay, check this out. Tell me what you think. You still saying I can't do basketball? But I three point like this and you three point like that and I dribble like this and you dribble like what is that? And I lay up like this and you lay up like that and your point is exactly Oh I love it. I love it. Yeah, you see the energy <laughs> she's putting in, man, like she competing with us. And did you notice the gear that she was wearing? You notice that new shirt? Oh, oh yeah. Hey mm -hmm. human is a hit. Yeah. You. We've sold already fifty of them. Oh, so 50 shirts. So thanks for the support. Um, obviously, um, we're excited in the direction that the organization, the company uh, is moving in. We still can't talk about uh, certain things. I'm going to get it out of you. But hopefully, uh, I will say that the paint is still wet on the sign that was printed. So um, coming soon, everybody. I like that. Right, we want to thank you for tuning in. Thank you for the support. And as always, if you liked anything from this podcast, video cast, or whatever you want to call it, we call it Two Humans, uh, hit that like button and subscribe. I'm Coach Derek. This is Coach Mike. Mr. Thread. And we out. It's all my haters. Hello, hello, they know, they know. Because he can't get his stuff together right now. I'm trying to be serious right now. Look, he just got that. You're good. She, look, they can cut that out. They can cut this out. I just heard something make me laugh. I'm like, get the girl. Am I